Welcome everybody. I wanted to hint at some of the computational elements of the simplex method. So computer implementations don't store the full tableau. Of course, you know, they don't write down the variables as, as we've been doing. They just put it in a, uh, a matrix of coefficients potentially. All that they keep track of is your current basis, right? So my current basis is uh, one, two, and four. Those are my variables currently in the basis. So just keep track of that set of your current basis. And furthermore, they keep track of this matrix A, B inverse. Um, if you remember from our prior video, A, B inverse is critical in giving the um, formula for all the other entries in our tableau. And they keep track of P, which is, you know, the coordinates of your current vertex in your feasible region. So a couple of comments on this. Um, Q here is the coefficients of this matrix. So in this example, Q is one, negative one, zero, negative one, negative one, one. And, um, The formula for Q in general is just this product AB inverse times AN, as we saw last time. AN is a, well, let's see, AB inverse is an M by M matrix, and AN is a M by N minus M matrix, because we have N minus M non basic variables if we have M basic variables. So you can solve for Q using A, B inverse. P in this example is the vector 1, 2, 2. To get your vertex on the polytope, you just have to add in zeros here in coordinates 3 and 5 to get your vertex in five-dimensional space. Um, P only encodes, you know, the coordinates on the basic variables of your vertex. And you can also solve for P using the AB inverse and you know, part of your original problem. So you don't store so much uh, this full tableau every time. You sort of like know what B is, you know what AB inverse is, and then you can recompose you know, you can, from AB inverse, you can compute enough about your tableau to find what your next new basis is. And then you just keep going. So it turns out that taking the inverse of a matrix, it, it can suffer from numerical imprecision. So think about the formula for a, uh, the inverse of a two by two matrix. If I have a two by two matrix, A, B, C, D, the inverse is one over the determinant times, and then you like shuffle around some of the entries and add some negative signs, right? But the one over the determinant is, is what's a problem, right? Because a matrix can have a determinant arbitrarily close to zero. And then when you take one over that determinant, your numbers blow up, they get arbitrarily large. And so you get numerical imprecision problems. If, if your matrix is close to having determinant zero, and then you compute its inverse, your computer might do a very, very bad approximation of the inverse if you try to do this naively. There are much smarter ways to handle this. Um, there's something called an LU factorization where you can take a matrix and multiply it as a lower, write it as a lower triangular matrix times an upper triangular matrix. So this is helpful for getting proxies or the inverse matrix. I don't know anything more about this than what I just said. Do, I, do any of you? At CSU, you know, our applied and pure math departments are together. Um, where I was a grad student, there was sort of a, a separate applied math department. And this is the type of stuff that everybody in that separate applied math department just learned really, really well. So the, the LU decomposition is just a really efficient way to, of solving your linear equation because you can just back su substitute 
Uh -huh. And so, so it basically you get it for free once you once you do that factorization, and it's extremely easy to store. It's sparse, so. Ah, nice. I see. And so, like, right. Instead oh. of um, to solve this, I guess you know you can just use your LU factorization to solve for p. Is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. It's extremely efficient. Cool. Nice. So I'll call this the quote unquote revised simplex method. You don't write down the tableau as we've been doing. You just only store these integral pieces that you need to recover th the tableau um, to find the next pivot variables, et cetera. So in this revised simplex method, you can, you can run it faster. You only need m squared operations to do a pivot. m is the number of equations, uh, the number of variables in our basis. Instead of m times n operations, as we've been doing with the full tableau. Any questions or comments? Thanks, everybody.